Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Rufus Frederick Learned was born in December of 1834 in Jackson, Mississippi, and became an important businessman in the Natchez district with interests in lumbering, banking, and gold mining. Rufus's father, Edward Learned, was considered to possess one of the greatest legal minds in the state, serving as district attorney. Sadly, his father died when Rufus was two years old. According to one account, Rufus was sent north to school to prepare for West Point. Rufus was unhappy at school, and in 1850, he and his brother Charles contracted a case of gold rush fever and ran away to California by way of Nicaragua. The brothers quickly learned that supplying the miners with supplies was more lucrative than the back-breaking work of mining. Rufus eventually pressed on to Australia, where he was also engaged in gold mining as well as shipping. Learned owned a schooner, shipping and dealing in tea and sandalwood in the South Sea Islands trade. He returned to Natchez in 1856, where he joined his stepfather's lumber mill. After his service in the Confederate Army, Learned embarked on a career as one of the most important capitalists and financiers in the state. He organized the Natchez Cotton Mills, served as president of the Britain and Kuntz Bank, the Natchez Ice Company, and the Natchez and Bayou Serra Packet Company. He greatly expanded his father-in-law's sawmill business, a concern that produced more than 35,000 board feet of lumber per day, along with shingle, lathe, and planing mills. Learned also became a grower and dealer in cotton, owning plantations in Concordia Parish, Louisiana. Learned's life was described as a yearning for knowledge and life adventures. That adventure came to an end in 1924. Hi, this is Sam Jones, and I portrayed Rufus F. Learned at Angels on the Bluff. This has been your Natchez History Minute.